My painting career started in Broome and uh, when I was in my late 20s and I started to, I thought I might take a course in a formal course in painting. So I did, it was some, you know, correspondence course we didn't have online. <laughs> I got really bored with that after about a month and threw that away <laughs> and then just started painting because I got the hang of it. Um, and what happened is I got an opportunity with the local regional art gallery. I showed them my work in Broome and they said, oh, we'll give you a first showing, which was a wonderful opportunity. Basically, the approval I got through selling work was the motivation to keep painting. And it, it was just, that's how it grew. I just kept reacting to that approval. One of the reasons I probably didn't get squash is because I was in Broome. I didn't go to art college. I, I learned from some very good people, but I didn't actually go to art college or university to do that. So kids go and get, they, they, they're interested in art. So their well-meaning parents will say, well, you should do a degree in art. Sounds right, doesn't it? You know, just does a baker go and do a degree in baking? Well, he could, but why should he? Because it's actually a thing that you do with your hands. They don't in university actually teach kids how to paint. I've seen it. They don't. It's all theory. I've had, when I was in room, I used to have students come up to me that have just finished a degree and literally come in and say, how can I become an artist and I say you just did a degree you know they've got to survive in the world so they get a job in a cafe but you know that's not quite using all of their capacity of what they've learned so then they become an art lecturer at uni so the whole cycle starts again so they didn't succeed so they've got this slight bitterness in their heart right so if they don't do that they apply for jobs in art administration and where are jobs in art administration in government art administration boards right so what's that museums and art and, and state art galleries we used, the relationship was absolutely essential in the past where you had to have a gallerist or uh, an agent and there's many great ones out there but the you know or a gallery and of course you know they take between 40 and 50 percent of your um, money made from a sale which is a lot of money when the artist is also paying for the canvas and the time and everything what's happened with technology and the amazing sort of openness and the trust in uh, people doing transactions online, um, Instagram, the ability of an individual to really promote themselves really easily and to be rewarded for doing it. So that as a young artist, if you can show off and gotta say, do good social media, um, you're gonna do well.